Ah, Descendant. You're here. Thank you for all your hard work with the Intercept battle. Unfortunately, we need to drag you into another operation before you get a chance to rest. Albion has entered uncharted territory. A Descendant has committed treason. A Descendant. Someone who should have been humanity's beacon of hope. Damn it! How could this have happened? HQ has officially denounced Jeremy as a traitor. A rapid arrest operation is in progress. Enzo received intel from the guide and was first on the scene. Jeremy is heading towards Echo Swamp. As the enemy's attention is keenly focused on this location and because of the swampy terrain, deployment of forces on a large scale will be difficult. To make matters worse, we've lost contact with Esimo. He was carrying out another operation in the area. Esimo's support was vital. Enzo won't be able to command and fight by himself. Our lack of manpower is delaying the operation. All clear. If we don't hurry, we'll be delivering the Ironheart to the Vulgus on a silver platter after we've worked so hard to get it. We must prevent that from happening at all costs. Rules of engagement for Jeremy will be sent separately. If possible, I would like to have him brought back alive. I want to hear what he was thinking as his commander, and why he did what he did. Go after Jeremy, and please, find the Ironheart and bring it back. I will tell Enzo to prepare to resume the operation. Understood. Descendant, wrap up any preparations for reinforcements quickly, and head to the Misty Woods outpost in Echo Swamp. Enzo is awaiting your arrival. Alpha, thank you for the reinforcements. Recommencing the operation to hunt down Jeremy. I've sent number 17 of the Kolong Special Forces to help with tracking Jeremy. Get the sit rep from Enzo and carry out the operation. All right. We've had some delays, but I'm happy to say we can now restart the pursuit. First things first, as we've lost contact with Esimo, and there are no other descendants who have the power to handle the battle, we had to suspend the search and blockade construction. I'm afraid we'll need a rescue operation for Esimo. He was deployed here on a mission to destroy a Vulgus facility, and we've lost contact with his unit. If possible, I think searching for Esimo while we continue with the rest of the mission is a good idea. While our operation was delayed, the Vulgus deployed their forces throughout the swamp. We think they sensed something was up with Jeremy. I got impatient, so I took command and attacked. But because the soldiers couldn't receive their orders in time, we nearly experienced heavy losses. After that, the Volgus forces increased and rapid deployment of soldiers wasn't feasible. It seems Jeremy used this to his advantage and went deeper into the swamp. So starting now, we'll be focusing on reconnaissance to expand the search area. If you go on ahead, the soldiers will follow and establish a barricade. This will allow for much wider RK distribution, which will be an advantage in tracking both Jeremy's RK and the Iron Heart traces. We have to overextend ourselves a little. We have no choice. Based on the intel from the guide, it's clear Jeremy has some kind of plan in mind. Apparently Jeremy's voice was captured through the Iron Heart pulse, however briefly that was detected. This is what was recorded. I was right. The Vulcans here have all been enhanced through superior DNA. The quality of this Kuiper is perfect, though it would have been good to secure both DNA and Kuiper in advance. Oh, yeah. You heard him, right? DNA, Kuiper. I have no idea what he's talking about, but I know this operation needs to resume quickly. The area where the guide picked up Jeremy's voice is a way off. We've got a long road ahead of us. Us. This operation, we're all slowly sinking into this swamp. We're not happy about it. Be prepared for unexpected combat situations. I leave the mission in your capable hands.
Enzo may have told you that Jeremy seems to be up to something. The Ironheart pulses are stopped, which means he must have put it back inside the quantum storage box used by the Descendants. We cannot allow Jeremy to take the Ironheart to him. That much is certain. Looks like we have no other choice but to go to the zone where we picked up his voice and investigate. Now! Jeremy said that the Vulcus in this area have been enhanced with high-quality DNA. To analyze the differences between them and regular Vulcus, we'll need to secure genetic samples for comparison. We really hope this has nothing to do with that old Colossus corpse. 
Go and collect Vulcus samples and place them in the supply box.
detected void energy on the surface of the Kuiper. This is definitely different from regular Kuiper. Join me at the outpost for a moment. There's a lot to discuss concerning the Volgus and Kuiper. Now, I know the pursuit is urgent. There's just a few things I'd like to highlight. This operation must succeed. Regarding Jeremy's defection, the plan is to capture him alive and carry out a detailed interrogation. However, after analyzing the characteristics of the Volgus DNA and the Kuiper, I think we need to understand Jeremy's motives first, so that we can be two steps ahead of him. First off, from the Volgus DNA collected here, we identified malignant cells, those which have been exposed to void energy. Well, we'd call them malignant cells, but for the Vulgus, they're more of a genetic enhancement. They give them higher bone density and muscle growth. And we've detected high levels of void energy in the Vulgus Kuiper you discovered. To humans, this affected Kuiper is highly contaminated material which cannot be processed and used for any products. But for the Vulgus, it is enhanced Kuiper. Can you see the connection? Both the cells and the Kuiper have been altered as the result of exposure to the void, and both are needed to create enhanced Vulgus. I'm not sure why Jeremy needs them, but I do know where we can find them. The Abandoned Zone. Throughout Ingress's history, it's been identified as the first area to be connected to the Void Dimension, and the worst source of contamination is located in Echo Swamp. That's where we need to go. We can either overtake Jeremy, or at least find traces of him. Huh? Hold on. That's the emergency comm signal. Is anybody there? This is Esimo. We can't move. We're surrounded by enemy forces. Esimo, what's your location? I'm at the abandoned area. I was sent here on a mission to destroy the Vulgus facility. But at this rate, I'll be the one being destroyed. Like hell you will. Sending reinforcements right now. This operation must succeed. Esimo! Esimo, please respond! God damn it! We've lost contact. That wasn't much to go on. Right now, the only thing we can be sure of is that they're nearby. Actually, this works in our favor. This is our chance to rescue Esimo and track down Jeremy. I'll search for traces of Jeremy and the Ironheart with a guide. Please rescue Esimo and take him to the forward base. I am definitely detecting a very minute presence of RK in this zone. I appear to be unable to transfer my consciousness into it. This narrows it down to two possibilities. Either this is Jeremy's RK, or the RK of Esimo, who is unconscious. We can't miss this opportunity. Descendant, this is number 17. Esimo may be being held inside this facility. I'm going in. I won't be wrong. Hold the attention of the Order's forces for me. There's movement in the pattern of the enemy forces. They may be waiting for reinforcements.
I'm loading. It's highly likely that a bogus commander will appear. If you see one, eliminate them immediately. Enemy target identified. But he doesn't seem to be a commander level either. Take them out anyway. Facility survey complete. No signs of SMO or any conflict. I'll need to search a different zone. I've activated an EcoScan surveyor. If something happened here, the drones should pick it up. Ideally, we'll find some info on Jeremy, but we can hope to at least get some idea of SMO's whereabouts. I need you to retrieve some of the drones and return them. Analysis complete. Based on the data collected, we've identified the unique chemical substance that SMO gives off. We've also found traces of Jeremy's Arche. If we follow SMO's traces, we should be able to find Jeremy as well. It's not that far. The Arche is fading. We must move quickly. Fog makes it difficult to carry out aerial reconnaissance, but I will keep trying. Please be careful.
Volkis are swarming in that direction. Get me. 
Decimo, you're safe. Thanks to you. Did you see Jeremy and his henchmen on your way here? I'm not sure they know what they're after or what their next move is. I'll brief everyone. Gather round. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. This is it. As you know, my mission was to remove the source of the contamination in the abandoned area before it spread to Albion. Where you rescued me, near the pipe there, my unit and I were looking for the source of the contamination connected to that pipe. We were on the verge of finding it. But the soldiers in my unit started getting sick, one by one, from some unknown disease, while the Order of Truth seemed to be getting stronger by the day. You know I have a sensitive nose, right? Well, my soldiers and the enemy smelled the same to me, but their symptoms, how the disease affected them, were the opposite of each other. It doesn't make any sense. Once I figured that out, I didn't just sit on my butt. I mobilized all of my men who were able to move and scoured the nearby area. That's when they turned on me. I knew I shouldn't have pushed them so hard. Jeremy showed up, and you know what that idiot said? Albion considers all of you to be expendable. Follow me, and I'll give you power. Let's take down Albion together. Ah, it sounded like a bunch of hogwash. But then he took out the Iron Heart. And it was the first time any of us had seen something that had seemed like just a rumor. To be honest, it was also the first time I'd seen the real thing in person. And even I thought it was pretty extraordinary. Though because I'd been connected to the guide from the start, I didn't fall for Jeremy's speech. But when that bastard said what he needed for his plan was nearby, one by one, my men pointed their guns at me. What did Jeremy say it was again? What he needed? That's right, a seed storage. And I knew the source of the contamination was there too. My nose told me. You're planning on going to the seed storage now, aren't you? In that case, focus on finding Jeremy. Destroying the source of the contamination, the seed storage, was my original mission. I'll try and recover, and get back on track with that as soon as possible. I'll make sure to blow up whatever it is Jeremy is trying to get his hands on.
We've secured the airspace above the operation zone. I'll leave you to handle the interior. Enzo has minimized external interference. We should be able to better focus on our objectives. Descendant, we need to determine what the Vulgus are doing inside the cave. We need to know why the items that Jeremy is pursued are inside, as well as what they are. As Jeremy is not new to me, there is no way for me to know what he is planning. We must stop him before it is too late. warned us that the Vulgus here are stronger. Please be careful. stationed at the entrance appear to be intact. Jeremy must have been able to evade them. This must be the high-density Kuiper that Jeremy mentioned. By human standards, this is contaminated waste. It is also identical to the substance mentioned in Alzarok's autopsy report. What? So, what you're saying is, Jeremy took it. There are no access records on this terminal for anyone aside from us. That is all I can discern from them. We must explore deeper. I will focus on detecting pulses from the Iron Heart. I'm loading. established a large-scale Kuiper refinery here, concealed from the vigilant eyes of Albion. 
Just the idea that Alzarok exists is proof enough for me that we can't allow this to continue. We will finalize the detonation of the facility, while you eliminate the enemy forces. Powerful enemy units have been deployed to protect the Kuiper. Please be on your guard. Based on data analysis, the high-density Kuiper produced in this cave was used to enhance the Vulgus who occupied this zone. The Vulgus made a lot of effort to enhance their forces. I admit it, Esimo was right to follow his nose. The question is, why does Jeremy want this? The substance cannot be used by humans. There are no signs of Jeremy here either. It may be because of the contamination. No. The density of the Kuiper was too low for that. Jeremy was after high-density Kuiper, and didn't touch any of this. Check the total amount of Kuiper within the facility. The scale and density of the Kuiper on the other side of the facility is enough to create Alzarok level Vulgus for centuries. It probably contains a high level of contamination. What? Okay, everybody get out! I'm going to blow it to hell right now! SMO, don't blow it up yet. Jeremy might still be inside. Enzo is correct. We have not found any evidence of Jeremy at any of the other Kuiper deposits so far. There may be signs of him on the other side of the facility. Guide is right. Jeremy will probably be after the Kuiper with the highest density.
amazed that you came all this way in person, descended. I'm curious about the effectiveness of the enhancements to my forces. Would you be so kind as to test them for me? This Falcus commander seems to be saying we are the first to arrive. Send them. We must secure this area before Jeremy can. density required to enhance my regular troops. Now, time for your reward. A damp, dark place like this is perfect for refining Kaiba. But it's even better for decorating the walls with your insides as I rip you to pieces. What do you think of my proposal? Just you wait. You'll be an excellent source of nutrients for the Tree of Truth.
appears that there is another more important zone to the Vulgus than this one. Thankfully, Jeremy did not progress that far. We must destroy this place before he can obtain the Kuiper. If we destroy this location, there will be no suitable zone for Jeremy to obtain high-density Kuiper from. Should he look for Kuiper in an outside source, he will not be able to avoid being detected by us. Did I tell you earlier that the Vulgus are after the Tree of Truth? There's only one tree in this swamp that deserves that kind of title. I can take you there. After I demolish this facility, that is. SMO and I will handle this. Can you report back to Alpha in person? This intel is sensitive and we don't want to risk Jeremy listening in on any comms. I'll send you the rendezvous point shortly. SMO, wait up. There isn't much time. We have to hurry. Jeremy has got hold of Vulgus DNA and contaminated Kuiper? Well, the bastard always had a special interest in the Vulgus. He was always praising how much stamina the Vulgus had, their power, their technological prowess, and the possibilities that they unlocked through genetic improvements. I didn't want to discourage him as he was doing useful research into the enemy's capabilities. But I can't deny his obsession made his teammates uneasy. There was an incident where he captured a Vulgus production facility. He argued that Albion also needed to create artificial soldiers. The Colon Counterintelligence Unit investigated his research and seized his records. He was sent to the detention center for a time as a result of what they discovered. He was nearly expelled as a descendant. Wait. Once he's acquired the Ironheart, there's no reason he won't go ahead with his plan. I wonder if that's why he studied the autopsy report on Alzarok so carefully. He's likely after more than the quantum storage box containing the Ironheart. We need to examine all records involving Jeremy and any of Albion's supplies. All right. Now that I understand the gravity of the situation, you may return to the field. I entrust the capture of Jeremy and secure retrieval of the Ironheart to you. Demolition of the seed storage has been completed. Rendezvous point set. No matter which way you look at it, it definitely is the Tree of Truth. Uh, an encrypted call. This is Enzo. Identify. Wait. Is this Jeremy? I'm going to stop by Grandla. <laughs> Do you need anything? Supplies? Okay, I've switched to a public channel as you requested. Now answer our questions. Hey! Who is this? If it isn't Alpha's little... I mean, the descendants. We'll be asking the questions, Jeremy. What is your location? I was just about to thank you guys. I'm inside the seed storage, which you guys so kindly cleaned up for me. <laughs> Thanks for taking care of the Vulcanus. I was able to swipe some highly concentrated Kuiper and organic matter, all because of you. <laughs> when did you... Idiot. Did you forget what I can do as soon as you couldn't see me? There were so many blind spots. Until SMO blew the place up, that is. I don't know why you're all making such a big deal out of this guide. She can't guide anyone. She couldn't even find the Ironheart when it was inside a quantum storage box. Jeremy, have you thought about surrendering? Think about the lives of the innocent soldiers you've influenced. Don't you think our bigger concern should be the future of humankind? I'm sick and tired of the incompetence of Albion's military commanders. Actually, having the Iron Heart, which we worked so hard to get, why are we so fixated on using it on the dimensional wall? Do you really think this fight will end just because we closed it? 
even if we stop the Colossi from coming, how do we plan to deal with all of the remaining Volcus and Ingress? We have more casualties daily than there are new recruits. You think descendants will make a difference? Huh. Even if we can clear an entire battlefield, do you really think that's enough to turn the tide in this war? You're deluded. Descendants are just as vulnerable as the rest of Albion's soldiers. We're all mortal. And if the Magister's equipment breaks and our Arche runs out, descendants will be nothing but frail human beings doomed to die. But the Volcus, they continue to advance even as we speak. The Ironheart makes them even stronger. Humanity needs to be stronger, and I know how. I'll soon show you. Just you wait. Jeremy? Jeremy! Damn it! There's no way he would have taunted us with an encrypted call that can only be accessed from a short range. I'm positive he's looking for something near the tree. I have no idea what you're talking about, but I'm ready to blow it all up. SMO, if the output of the machine installed on that tree is correct, half of the swamp will be blown away. Please calm down. This is so frustrating. I'm going crazy. We need to take full control of the area around that tree. Sensor. The moment he sets foot near us, it will activate. It looks like the enemy is also tracking Jeremy, so we'd better capture him first. You need to defend the sensor, Descendant. Jeremy's attacks on the enemy are now caught in the crossfire. The sensor must be protected at all costs. We need to eliminate that focus.
might be strong, but you have to keep it at bay. stench that was at the seed storage. It looks like Jeremy came here looking for this stuff too. So we better grab it all first.
loading. supplies. Let's get back to the outpost. We need to wait for Dr. K to contact us about the next operation anyway. What is it? Ah, speak of the devil. She's contacting me now. Kate, I'm receiving. The supplies I sent are the ones seized from an important Volgus facility. We identified them as being highly likely to be targeted by Jeremy, so we went after them first. There's three supply boxes worth. These are genetic materials used to create Volgus bodies. If Jeremy wants to emulate the process in the Azeroth report, these are the core materials he'll need. But did you say three boxes? Only two have been delivered. Was one intercepted by the Volgus? What are you talking about, Kate? The delivery speed for Albion supply boxes is too fast to be overtaken by standard transportation. Wait a second. Jeremy. His RK abilities. He might be able to grab a supply box mid-air. Damn it. This is the emergency response system. A supply box on its way to Albion has been intercepted. Last known location is in the Northeast. 
There is a high chance that Jeremy grabbed it. He planned this. Oh man, you've given me everything I needed. You have my eternal gratitude. Don't worry, I'll put these supplies to good use. <laughs> All forces, I'm sending the last known coordinates of the supply box. Move out. Jeremy trying to make a pet vulgus? That's disturbing. I have a different theory. This is... Jeremy has everything he now needs. Void energy. Highly concentrated Kuiper, Vulgus DNA solution, and the Iron Heart. All of these were used by Eamon when he created Alzarok. Are you saying Jeremy is creating a super strong Vulgus that will obey him? I would have expected bigger things from that traitor. Perhaps, as he already has RK, he may be attempting to fuse his own body with that of a Vulgus, spawning a new being. Those of Esimo's men who were won over by Jeremy were strongly taken by his words, fully believing what he said. However, there is one thing Jeremy hasn't been able to obtain yet. An energy output intense enough to activate the Iron Heart. Fortunately, I do not detect any facilities in this swamp with that level of output. However, if there are any colossi remains in this swamp in fairly good condition, they may still retain an immense amount of power. Then there would be no need to infiltrate an Albion or Vulgus facility. I suspect the remains are exactly what Jeremy is after. Ah! If that's so, that's good news. There aren't any usable Colossi remains around here, so we can finally catch our breath. Actually, there is one. A while ago, there was an Executioner which failed in an intercept attempt and ended up somewhere in this swamp. This is Vulgus territory, yet I wasn't in a position to go after it at the time, so I left it. Ah, damn it. I guess there was no way of knowing it could be used for this. We need to find the location of the remnants. I'm going to blow them up so that nobody can use them.
Number 17, suspending stealth search and converting to support mission. The enemy is on high alert. Jeremy must have riled them up. They're trying to obstruct our pursuit. We must eliminate them quickly. I'm loading.
Jeremy used his RK ability, then there will be RK residue. We should utilize the environmental collection drones. Unlike the sensor we used before, this shouldn't draw the enemy's attention. So you only have to focus on retrieving the drones. Jeremy's RK. His route takes him toward the chapel. Wait, these traces are similar to those of the Vulgus. It looks like the enemy has caught up to Jeremy. We'd better hurry. Temporarily transferred the void radar code to this drone. Connect me to the drone so that I can track the exact location of the remnants of the executioner.
I'm loading. The enemy has found us. Defend the drone until the tracking is complete.
chapel. The remains of the Colossus should be there. I will request Enzo to provide aerial reconnaissance. stop the Volus forces transportation, we can stop them from rallying. In order to do that, we need to neutralize their generator. I'll identify which Volus have high voltage fuses using this observation of wind. Once we have them, we can solve the generator issue. the enemy reconverging. We should try to hack their database. I'll provide reports. You take care of the enemy forces. Initiating remote hack. Enemies approaching. Get ready.
consolidated their forces. That's not good. Initiating remote hack. Eliminate any approaching enemies. Assemble at the shared location. Based on the intel collected during the operation, Jeremy is heading for... Wait a sec. Isn't that Corel's ship? Why the hell is it there? operation must succeed. Jeremy, if you can hear me, respond. <sighs> Jeremy, don't do anything stupid. If you claim to still be a descendant, then it is your duty to not let Corel get his hands on the Ironheart. It's not too late to turn yourself in. If you do, we guarantee your safety. Jeremy! Respond! We can't wait any longer. SMO and I will deal with the incoming Volga's forces. You need to head to the location of Jeremy's signal.
up midair. Guide, are you getting any readings? The void signal being generated by the remnants of the Colossus is compromising the sensitivity of my bandwidth. Damn it, the enemy are swarming on this side too. I won't let a single bastard through, but you'll have to take care of whatever's inside. Jeremy, the Ironheart, and the soldiers. None of their fates are certain. Don't look back, Descendant. Keep moving forward. Now that Corral has arrived in person, the Vulgas are fully prepared. Unless we destroy their alarm, it will continue to alert more enemy troops. If we don't destroy it, it will endanger not only us, but Enzo and Esimo as well. to extract the signal. Go. Oh, the signal has been interrupted. Disrupted by something. Jeremy may have placed the Iron Heart back into the quantum storage box.
Surrender now, we can protect you. I repeat, surrender now! Oh no, we need to move faster. Guy, what happened to the Ironheart? I am still unable to track the Ironheart due to its void signal. I cannot detect its pulses. There are bodies ahead. It's the soldiers. Focus ambush. Focus descendant.
Lord Coronel's orders were to take care of any descendants who followed. Descendants? But only one more left. I can detect the of the journey on that focus. We may be able to find out what happened here.
They wouldn't chase us this far, right? Shh. Focus. What? Are you scared right now? This is nothing. think that strategic planning is easy? Descendants, Enzo and Esimo are at the scene. They're trying to get things under control there. Alpha has had to take some leave, but he has received full progress reports for all operations. All that effort to find the Ironheart, only to lose it again. In the past, Alpha had Jeremy court-martialed and sent to the military detention center. But he still had faith in him. He is a descendant, after all. But now, with the second Ironheart, 
Alpha needs time to recover. Having a discouraged commander can demoralize troops on the front line. Unless we receive special orders, we must carry on with routine missions and await further developments. HQ, we have detected anomalies in the void, requesting an intercept battle. Damn it! This isn't a routine mission! Descendant, you better go to Seneca. HQ will try to deal with any unexpected situations. Classification tag dead right. Closing in at an unexpectedly high speed. HQ, requesting alert status to be raised to immediate response. Descendant, Jeremy's actions caused the remains of the Executioner to send a signal into the Void. Unstable materials were stimulated by the Ironheart, and I'm sure Jeremy had some Void energy in his possession. I think that must have reacted with the Ironheart, sort of like jump-starting it. Dead Brides have always been bonded with Executioners. I believe this accounts for their immediate reaction to this signal. We don't have much time. Please, intercept, Descendant. Are you ready to undertake a Void Intercept battle assignment? If all modules were the same, I'd be out of a job, right? 